Youth runner here with Denver East Star, Rosie Macharski, uh, Liberty Bell Invitational. Uh, obviously, I was so happy that, uh, that you know, both the, the girls and the guys you know, got the earliest slot because obviously there's been times in the past like where, uh, as the great Benji Anderson, two-time <laughs> champion rolls by. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but just in terms of what you feel like you continue to learn on this course because obviously I know how brilliant you are at Norris Penrose. Uh, yes. But uh, just, I mean, did you feel like you, got, you had a better understanding of how you wanted to attack this course and, uh, and, and, and where you wanted to move? I know it's only September 14th. Yeah, so yeah, obviously the November version of, uh, of Rosie versus the September version of Rosie yeah. will continue to evolve and develop and improve. Definitely. But just, how, you know, how did you feel like uh, you, you kind of you know, set up the race plan and executed it today? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think this course is really hard. Like it definitely challenges you like mentally and thinking of like the race and like the race plan because it goes out like really fast and then it honestly stays out really fast. So it's like hard to have a definitive race plan. It's basically just like go run and try to stick to the front and stuff. Um, I wasn't like a hundred percent happy with my race. Um, I definitely feel like I could have been up there a little bit more and like trying to race the girls at, at the front. Um, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily my day. Um, but it was <laughs> it was just a fun. It's, this is such a fun course because it's like it's like track off the track sort of like I don't know it's just super fun to get your get your legs rolling and going um, like leading up to state because there's not really a ton of fast courses that we run um, before I guess state isn't like the fastest course but it's like nice to have that um, for like the end and like this fast uphill finish is really nice because the state is an uphill finish so it's just like I don't know this is a, a fun course but it's it's definitely hard and like mentally it's that's the difficult part probably. Rosie when I mean junior year was brilliant I, I mean so the, the fact that you know when when you're at that level is like when you say that you weren't completely you know pleased uh, uh, is it just because you know that's that's the level of expectation that, uh, that, that you're setting for yourself that, that you know that you're capable you know of competing with you know any, anyone in the state or anyone in the southwest like you know I you know like the, the entire year is is it is it fostered uh, out of that or that you that maybe you just didn't feel as as sharp and as dynamic as you wanted to specifically today I think it's like kind of both like I have had some really good training and like I know that my training can take me like super far and I can run some really fast times and like I'm super fit and throughout the summer I had really good training I would go to Boulder like during the week and stuff so I think I just know that I like can race these girls and like be up there and compete um, and also I just wasn't I wasn't feeling the my best today um, so yeah I think that's, so I think it's like some cool. There's such a great camaraderie, you know. Obviously, I see yes, you hanging out with both the, the Vista girls and the Air Academy girls. Yeah. Obviously, so many friendships you know forged through you know everybody's upbringing, elementary school and you know and middle school, junior high, and now obviously uh, uh, through high school. And now we get not only Air Academy and Mountain Vista, but we get Niwot. You know, yeah. everybody's coming. You know, for the spot that, uh, that you have. But like, yeah. you're such a competitor. You know, and and obviously you love the challenge. Like, you know, the fact that. It was already, 5A was already the deepest classification in the yeah. country last year. Yeah, and then now we throw Niwot. Addy and Niwot in there as yeah. well. Like, I mean, is, is that like the, like, the, like the ideal blessing, like to get you ready for things, you know, beyond Colorado and even, even beyond high school and in college as well? Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing. Like, I definitely think some people in 5A were like, oh, not Niwot, but I love them so much. And honestly, like, the Colorado community is just like amazing. I love like everyone. We've all become such good friends. Like there's some of my best friends and stuff. And so I think it's nice because you're like on the line with like your competitors, but they're also like some of your best friends. And so like it's super fun to just be out there. And sometimes like if you're running with them, you can be like, come on, like let's go, like let's go past these people and stuff. And so like I think it'll be really good because it'll definitely make it more competitive having Nago on there. But it'll it'll make it fun and I think it'll be a really really good race um, and I think it'll definitely it'll be whoever whoever wants it the most will we'll get the get the win most definitely yeah. well obviously uh, you, uh, you certainly did last year and we know uh, that that's going to continue to, uh, to be the case uh, going forward uh, again uh, reigning 5a champion uh, Rosie Macharski from uh, from Denver's here at Liberty Bell stay healthy congratulations thank you thank you